All right, today's project. First thing we're going to do is uh, the transmission because it's kind of a big step. So we're going to have to move things from the 1ZZ transmission onto the 2ZZ transmission and uh, do some changes. Um, there's two parts that you really have to do to set it up so it'll shift right from the being in the front of a car to the back of the car. Monkey wrench has the pieces, has really detailed instructions. So we're just going to follow these instructions along and get this done. The very first thing you have to do is remove the shift linkage. So the shift cables attach here and here. I just started removing the bolts. Um, so the linkages and this is the shaft and we have to change out the shaft. So first thing I have to do is remove this. Um, like most things when you're removing something like this and moving it around, you probably want to take a picture so you can go back and reference it as needed. And uh, we're going to install this linkage onto the other transmission so that it will shift right. So at this point, I've got the linkage removed, which was all right here, which you just saw. I also need to remove, this is the clutch slave cylinder. Obviously, we're using the one that's already on the car. So I don't have to do that, so I can remove all of that, these cables. Um, this is a motor mount, uh, or a transmission mount. I can swap that. I have to move this around. And then I can move into the instructions uh, for the swap. And the shaft is all of this from here all the way through here. And you got to do a bunch of just different shift items, things we've got to change to uh, get this to work the opposite way. We have to move this from this side to this side. And we got to move the bracket for holding the cables and so on. So a few things to uh, switch around. Well, this is the uh, bracket off of the C56. This is the one off of the C60. They're completely different. Obviously, they do the same thing, but they're completely different. Um, this one was covered in grease, obviously from the engine having all of its leaks. Um, so I've cleaned it all up. It's filthy. Some brake cleaner and so on. Um, and it cleaned up, but it doesn't look that good. Um, but it's a pretty complex little piece, so I don't think I'm going to try and paint it. Um, but I at least got it all cleaned up and ready to get put back on. This one off of the Celica transmission is just trash. We don't need that. That one's going to go away. This one came off the old transmission and it's swapping over. the new transmission and uh, removed the cover here, removed the cap on the top, obviously moved all the linkage and now I have the shift shaft out. Now the trick is you got to install this, all these pieces onto the new shaft in just the same way and you got to keep that notch facing the exact same way when you put it back in otherwise it won't work. So that's probably the trickiest part about this. So. Now I will work on uh, swapping this over. So I have the uh, shifter shaft all transferred over. Um, I don't know, it wasn't that difficult. I did kind of look at it backwards at one point, but uh, got that squared away. Now the next step is identifying your transmission. And uh, the trick is, and it's in the instructions, if this has a smooth edge and this has got a wide neck here, mostly it's a smooth edge then you know you have a 2000 to 2002 Celica. I knew I had a Celica, didn't know exactly what year. Um, so because of that, I have to do some things here on the end. So I have to remove this little 
copper cup here and then there's a little bushing I have to push in so that that rod can rest on it and then I have a cap to put in there so uh, that's what I'll be doing next So I've got uh, the whole end taken care of, got the cap put in there, sealed up nice and snug. You want to be careful you don't push that back out as you put everything in. And got the post or the shifter shaft, that just slips right in. It's not really, this goes on the upside, or well up, it would be down, but it uh, comes in and slips right in. You have to kind of jimmy it a little bit to get it in there. It'll slip right in. The little detents on the bottom or top is the best way to put it right there. Then you just have to put in this is the reverse block uh, blackout block out so that you'll have a little gate when you you don't slip it in this reverse by accident because reverse is in and up and then first second and so on. So you don't want that. And then you just put this back in on the top and we've got that taken care of. So I'll get this finished up. All right, so now I've got everything attached. I did realize that you do have to move this mount here. There's a mount on the front you gotta move. Um, these are the brackets that hold the uh, shift cables. This is a little bracket that uh, holds your um, uh, electronic cables and stuff like that. Um, there's a couple of other things. I, I did have to pull this apart and redo it. Um, it was really, really stiff and realized that I had tweaked something just a little bit. But um, the one little thing I did not realize, this pin that holds on the, the shift linkage, there's, it's flat on one side to match up, to mate up to the shift, shift uh, post and uh, has a flat spot too. So they match up. So make sure you get that. I didn't do that the first time. Um, so uh, it is, done my transmission's ready to go ready to be attached to the engine and installed so um, big step never messed with transmissions before I still have to do uh, I have a new clutch and a new flywheel so I'll attach I still got to put those on the engine but uh, one big thing down <laughs> 